How's we going? We're back. You will join us or die, master. Pretty aggressive. Minoc, thank you for your gift sub to my wife. Thank you, Minoc. No more ads for my wife for a month. Thank you, Minoc. I appreciate it. Uh, so we are back. This is uh, part two so of, of the zombie run. Uh, we actually lost two runs yesterday and we're on our third attempt right now. We have learned a lot. And yeah, the uh, the funny thing is the creator of the mod actually uh, DM'd me yesterday after my stream and it was like, Hey, I heard you were playing my mod, so I'm watching the, the VOD. Uh, looks like you're having a great time. And then he was laughing about the deaths. So, <laughs> so brains, if you're out there watching this again, thank you for uh, creating the mod. Thank you for the no pause mod. That's the big one for me. For anyone that doesn't know the creator of this uh, zombie mod, he he has made lots of mods, including uh, Harmony, which um, allows lots of other mods to even exist. But he is the creator of the no pause challenge mod. And uh, he actually knows that I'm one of the main people that use it. So he's reached out to me in the past asking me about it. Like, hey, would you like me to add this feature? Is there something else that I can add to it to make it better? Uh, which is really awesome. So thanks again to Brains. Brains. All right. Brains is the one is the brains behind the zombie mod. Brains. Uh, 25 months, Zidian. Zidian. Five thank you for the 25 twisted. months. Mel, thank you for the 500 bits. Thank you, guys. Among other. Yeah, yeah. So, like, lots of mods. But Harmony is one of those, um, uh, those mods that allows other mods to work. Like, even hundreds of other people's mods, right? So, pretty, uh, pretty important a person in the RimWorld modding world. Alrighty, here we go. Uh, so what happened right at the end yesterday? We got to electricity, we got at research, and we had a baby. We had a baby in this crazy world. You know, um, kind of funny. Sometimes when I watch like a horror movie or whatever, and someone is pregnant, and it's and they've already been in the apocalypse for like more than nine months, I'm like, how could you have a baby? Uh, the main thing that I think about that, you guys ever seen um, A Quiet Place? I won't get into it because I don't want to spoil it, but I will tell you that A Quiet Place starts out where they've already been in the apocalypse where nothing can, you're not supposed to make any noise. They've already been in that for like longer than nine months. And the main character, one of the main characters is pregnant. And I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, what are you doing? But uh, anyway, I guess you got to repopulate, you know? So uh, yeah, um, we have learned a lot. We, uh, we just had that baby, like I said, so Hopefully that baby grows up to be a god pawn. We'll see. We'll see if they grow up. We probably won't survive this run. Uh, we got uh, great bows finally. We actually managed to secure a gun from someone. In fact, there were some other raiders that died on the right side that uh, I think we have some guns over there we can get. There are currently 500 zombies on the map. Welcome back. And what is, uh, there's a couple things that have allowed us pr to progress this far. One is that we need to make sure that we never allow um high teens of zombies to gather close together because that number can push over walls that's how we lost the first two runs is that we let too much zombies group up and they pushed over walls so we got to make sure we're we're cleaning any groups like that up it's like they are billions in room world yeah kind of and um there are we've also learned about several special zombies including a breacher zombie so there is a breacher zombie that we have to keep track of and also exploding zombies so we got to keep an eye it's very it's very welcome back i don't know Your what word i want to use it is hectic is but it's also taxing because without the the uh, minimap mod i'm actually supposed to have to be very vigilant i have to be really vigilant and keep an eye on all this stuff because if any of those get through uh we're just dead we almost lost this already so uh, how's it going? Greed, Alligator Lizard, Kadra, Johnny Tight Lips, Lady LZ, welcome in. Uh, Beery Max, thank you for the 10 months. Stevie GV, thank you for the 15 months. Uh, one, thank you for the 15 months. And Juicer, thank you for the 200 bits. Thank you, guys. Uh, all aboard the hype World War Z style, thank you to Safe Zone. Yeah, yeah, they actually pile over each other. Here's a special zombie here. For, for anyone that hasn't seen what that one does, it explodes in a smoke cloud. Um, more than a smoke cloud. It blots out our targeting completely. All right, so uh, what are our goals right now other than just staying vigilant, keeping the zombies at bay? Like I said, I think there were some guns dropped over here. Back. They're not great, Your but we're going to try to get these guns. Uh, there's some Twinkies. Bag <laughs> survival meals are Twinkies in this. So we need to try to make our way over there. It's actually pretty close, so we should be able to uh, to do that. Ibex is going to go to town on some of these zombies, it looks like. 
and we just finished researching electricity so our goal now is to get to guns but unfortunately we're gonna need components and i don't know how we're gonna get to components we're gonna probably have to try to strip mine this and hope there's some components in there i don't know I think you'll do well in a real zombie apocalypse i think i think if there's any zombie apocalypse that could overcome the world militaries then we don't have hopes of surviving there's no way if there's any kind of zombie event that literally overcomes all world powers on an individual basis you're you're probably screwed so it's nice to like think about that sometimes that's kind of a kind of fictional a fantasy you know dead in three minutes but uh yeah it's uh it's it's probably probably not gonna happen so fall in love with a zombie no 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 no, no. A green ghost stimming element 80 welcome in uh so yeah we're gonna get our electricity set up we gotta raise this this baby uh there's gonna be another baby soon we have another pregnancy but we really want to go get these guns before uh before they deteriorate it's only poor it's poor quality but i mean better than other than nothing uh the poor quality will actually have the same damage output as normal quality it's just that i mean basically it's just that it's going to be very very inaccurate so uh yeah we'll start making our way out and grabbing those we'll probably wait until it's not i don't know the rain's gonna make it deteriorate even more maybe we should just go start working on i don't see any special zombies over there we got to make sure there's no specials gathering anywhere either them in the head drop them days world is far enough long almost everyone watched or played something with zombie games this is wouldn't waste time and ammo on body shots yeah yeah right so so if there is some kind of event that overcame all the world powers then yeah we're probably screwed grab guns rather than great bows uh it, it just depends it depends yeah you're gonna lose a lot of accuracy with it but uh one of the big things is stopping power and armor penetration right so against the zombies maybe that poor gun isn't as good as a like good great bow but if we get raiders, it probably will be because of the armor pin, but we'll see. The Twinkies, the mod is titled Zombie Land. Uh I wonder if we'll find a Tallahassee pawn. <laughs> uh alright, we're gonna go grab those, even though it's rainy. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Rich, uh you stay behind. Wait, who's the other Isco's the other pregnant one? Okay. All right, um, so we basically need to schedule these people as uh, unrestricted during this. That way I can force them to haul back home. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like those came from further away than normal. I wonder if the gunshot actually does attract. It would make sense. It seems like it does. We've never had that happen before. Yeah, look at that. All right. Well, I think we've learned a new mechanic. There is a sound mechanic to this. Seems to be a sound mechanic. So we might just want to go exchange that gun out. Oh my god. Yeah, because that did not happen before. Okay, good to know. Maybe we don't even want to go get those right now. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, that was the case. Yeah, we didn't never had anything like that happen with just the bows, so. All right, we'll let them uh, de-aggro, hopefully. They might end up destroying that door. We gotta be careful. So, ARAM, go ahead and just uh, equip the the bow for now. Still alive, yeah. Run three, still alive. Somehow. Yeah, look how... Uh-oh. We gotta... We gotta get rid of that, because... If... If 18 gather there, they can push over the wall. Crap. Okay, is there any, um... Any special zombies gathering up right now nearby? It doesn't look like it, so... Really wish this rain would go away. We have that special zombie. We should probably try to take care of him. 
at least run out his uh, stacks or whatever. Wish this rain wasn't here, though. Right, let's go out here and see if we can pop a couple. Yeah, you see how that one's not getting triggered? These great bows are actually great. All right, so there he got his... Uh, That with the nail weapon added to the mod. <laughs> or his chainsaw added to the mod. Noise level overlay, that'd be kind of cool, yeah. Well done, modders, yeah. Go socio craze. Ichi, welcome in. J Ross, welcome in. Did that kill him? I'm, I didn't see. Did not. Okay. Oh, God. Welcome back. Uh, Cedar, thank you for the three months. Thank you, Cedar. Alberta King, thank you for the four months. Thank you, guys. Chicken baby's happy. Hooray! Go, chicken baby. <laughs> All right, it's done. It's going to die. Okay. That special one is dead. All right, I'm going to add Octoon to this. Um... Because there's some micromanagement about the zombie corpses that is just tedious on no pause without it. Back. But oh well, I forgot. Loyalty is greatly I don't know. I really want to try out turrets. Yeah, we got to survive long enough to get there, right? So, got to survive long enough to get there. But, uh, we really have to get components. Some steel and components. Like, we can mine to here. I'm a little worried about, um,. About bugs. I don't know how bugs are going to react to all this, but I think we need to clear out this area, close that, and see if we can strip mine in there. Looking for, uh, looking for components, but even just the steel in there, you know? So. Uncle Pat, I think it was 17 months. Thank you, Uncle Pat. Isco is now in labor. Okay. Another baby. Your steadfast loyalty Another baby. Appreciated. Hopefully. Come on, Isco. Come on, Isco. Turrets like that scene from Aliens, the horde of Xenoworths bearing down on them on the turrets. Yeah, yeah, I actually rewatched Alien and Aliens not, not super long ago. The scene where they're crawling through the, all around the, the hallway, basically. Uh, Loco, they were the five months. Thank you, Loco. My pleasure. Glad you're still enjoying. Healthy. Hooray. Awesome. <laughs> awesome, baby. All right. Throw that possum baby on the floor. There we go. We're good. Oh, we got two healthy babies. And now we're gonna have drugs coming in too. Let's go ahead and go into assignments. Manage drug policy. We're going to go into new policy uh, T. I'm going to do a separate one this time. We keep two in the inventory. Take on schedule. We're going to take it. We need to kind of stretch the T out a little bit. Let's just do every four days right now. Just stretching it out a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Well, the other animals. Yeah, that's tribals for you. Tribal babies. Tribal babies. Welcome in Alvera. Traders into the map. Zombies win or traders win. It's been... We've seen both. Yeah, we've seen both. We've seen both. We've seen the traders win, and but several of them end up turning into zombies because they got bit. Yep. Baby's crying. Who's... Let's go. Rich, what do you do? Where, where are you at, Rich? Whatever. Hmm. I see. Uh, are the traders angry at me afterwards? I haven't seen any pop-ups from that yet. But wouldn't doubt it. All right. So we really want to clear this area out. Uh, any special zombies coming? Gathering up? Not at the moment. So we really got to get this cleared out so we can try to find components. Uh, let's get the... Not mothers. Let's go. Feed your baby. Let's go. And who else? Who's staying behind? Rich. There we go. 
All right, Aram, uh, Usual Adam, Mayo, and Nid. Okay. Yeah, look at that. It's not triggering them at all. Great bows are going to be actually pretty important. Great bows for the zombies, guns for the raiders, basically. Okay. So that is cleared out. So we really need to get that uh, rebuilt over there. Oh, you have to be set to hunting. Oh, okay. Double tap corpses to prevent them from becoming zombies. So now can I do that? It was in the allowed area, probably. Okay. All right, so now we're going to have uh, knits work on that wooden wall. Those got busted over by... Uh, wait, why? <laughs> it's too hot in the house. They just dumped the babies in the rice field. God. Uh. <laughs> Welcome okay. back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Uh, capture zombie. I don't know. You can, you can heal them if you get enough serum. You really just dumped the, the babies outside. Ah, uh, they're safer out here. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. We're gonna need some more wood. <laughs> uh, add a door to that side of the wall. No, doors are dangerous. So I want as few doors leading to the outside as possible for now. Uh, I might try that after we get some... Yeah, see, like, they're winning, but they're getting bitten by some zombies. I might add some after we are in better shape and have, like, turrets to put next to each door. Right now... Uh, we have determined that doors are are dangerous. So there is a type of special zombie that actually can just open doors. So the having only one door to the outside, we know where those zombies can come through. Nice cross barricades. I imagine so, but I, don't, I haven't tried. I mean, barricades have the same collision as uh, as chunks, but I haven't tried. Uh. Yeah, I don't know about the capture zombie thing. We'll have to check that out too. Uh, Trisha, 23 months. Thank you, Trisha. Not so. Thank you for the 10 months. Uh, any of the cats. You're the brand new subscription. Thank you, Andy. Much appreciated also. There was a uh, Lydia summon where? It was Phelan. All right, Phelan. Quote number 314. I've had my share of mushrooms. None of them were hard. Uh, ooh, Lydia does drugs. No surprise to anyone. No surprise to anyone. Thanks, Phelan. Literally no surprise. <laughs> All right. So we are going to uh, work on strip mining this a little bit. See what's there. Hopefully we don't uh, disturb any bugs. Hopefully. You're proud of that one. <laughs> well, we got two babies, so hopefully we get some uh, babies to grow up nice and strong. Welcome Might as well back. shut that, right? Your steadfast loyalty is greatly oh, what? They got up. Now, if these turn into zombies, they turn into special zombies. So we got to keep an eye on that, too. They turn into runners, basically. We have a zombie trapped in there we need to take care of. Yeah, we like bug meat, but we don't like dying to bugs. I don't know. We probably couldn't kill bugs like a infestation right now. Minus for money. Uh, ghost. Thank you for the three months. Thank you, ghost. We got to take this one out. And we gotta keep an eye on these. They drop any weapons. Okay. There we go. So now, now they're doing what they're supposed to. All right. Um, mining. 
Mining, mining. Mayo is mainly researching. I think it's okay. Go Ivan. Sorry, I binge watching the Wish Waves and Kill Boxless series. You went on break. Love the content. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you for coming over here. Thank you for all the things. Why is he thanking him so much? Is he Canadian? I'm not Canadian. Oh, all right now. Are you guys going to fall down? Man, I really hope they don't become zombies. Anyone infected? It's nice at least that we can check. So, oh, he's infected. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sun. And Lexi got turned up there. Uh, uh, yeah, we have biotech, so yeah. We are only baseliners at the moment, but we do have biotech on, so. Hopefully they take out Lexi before they go. Come on, Lexi, attack him. What? Yeah. Get him, Lexi. There we go. Oh, God, Lexi taking out Kirk. How's the run going? It's going okay. I haven't seen other race zombies actually yet. All right, well, Lexi got taken out, but there might be some more zombies anyway. I'm bashing shotgun up there. Paul's killing some zombies on his way out. Well, maybe. Howard has been eaten. He's in the process of being eaten. Look at the, the kind zombies. Not eating his clothes. Just taking the clothes off. Maybe they're just eating around it. Pro probably. Probably makes more sense. All right, well. Uh oh. That's another thing I got to get done. The thing is, we're going to have to go, like, protect people as we do it. Because their smaller brains may attract fewer zombies. Yeah. Maybe. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and set this up. So we're going to go ahead and do a zone, a roof zone. And I'm going to do four out. I usually do th usually do three, but I'm going to go four out from the wall here. So we'll get this as a fire break. And I don't know how in the world we're going to get that. We're going to have to go out and, like, micromanage, protect people, you know? Hopefully the rain comes for that. But, I mean, it just rains, so... Odds are not really in our favor. Hmm. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll keep an eye on it. I mean, we could always repatch that wall. Oh, no! Isco! <gasps> Oh my god, we got so lucky that Isco didn't get hit there. That's what happens. We get to outlaw one door and suddenly you have a zombie. Getting in. Man, that was close. We are really lucky they dodged. Because we don't have the stuff to cure it right now, right? Oh, we would need a corpse. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and, uh, I don't know if these need to be cooled or whatever, but we'll do that. All right. Well, <laughs> going to turn into a zombie. So there's a special zombie up here. They're much faster. Another one. Another one. Chacking. Mom didn't know how to spell chicken. It's just how she pronounces it. Socioeconomic. Don't make fun of it. Uh, Jerem, Mitchie, welcome in. Well, the rain came right before that got to us, so that's nice. That's good, at least. So, we gotta get that mining done. I'm actually gonna set up Mayo to mine. And they call it a mine. Well, maps given zombies, mining is a big no. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be really difficult to get components. Um, one of the, our big goals is going to be to get to microelectronics so we can trade with trade ships, right? I also need to bring those drugs in. Let's go ahead and set that up. Set that up. 
the cursed corpses of my sacrifice colonists from runs past. <laughs> uh, welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. <laughs> Might be right. Might be right. All right, we're going to set everyone up to go get the drugs. We're going to go pick it all up where the rain withers it away. And then we're going to bring them in. Cancel the caravan. We're going to dump it inside the house. There we go. All right, there's another zone there. Ah, uh, Kakarot, thank you for the 16 months. And Schmeet, and Schmeet, thank you for the brand new Twitch Prime stuff. Thank you, Schmeet. Counts same as a tier one sub, you probably know. Uh, I appreciate it. You're using that here. Schmeet. Uh, Isco has a inspiration. They're good at construction. This might be a good, uh, good time to try to get an excellent or better bed. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. There we go. Excellent bed. So we'll get rid of that normal bed there. And we install that up there. You rest in no spoilers? Yeah, it wouldn't be good for the stream right now. I'd like to play it, but can't really. Can't really at the moment. Man, those two uh, runner zombies are together. That's going to really suck. All right, Mayo is starting they're mining at least so hopefully we can find some components in here that's that's really what we need to see we know there's uh, those freaking sounds man i'm always worried when i hear something like that that something is getting in or someone got out and got bit and that like eerie nighttime music like or not even really music it's just like this ambient sound you know uh frack they were the 19 months like, frack 19 months Gonna make a kill boxes run. I don't have any plans to at the moment. <laughs> Rabbits take the zombie out. The zombie doesn't know what's going on. Is there any words coming from? Way to go, rabbit. Way, way to go. Boy, it took a long time to kill it. Anyway, we know that there's steel in here. Um. We're hoping to, we're hoping to find some other stuff. The killer rabbit. Look at the bones. bones. Do get a burn box, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Uh, yeah. That's the. That's one of the. So. We are changing like one setting at a time and we did change the setting about um, zombies attacking wild animals. And the main reason why is just like every animal on the map was always being attacked and getting mad. And so we just constantly had battle music and constant pop-ups like non-stop. You know, it was like this animal's revenge, this animal's revenge, this animal's revenge and, and constant battle music. So. so now the zombies don't attack wild animals. I played this in the past. No, nope. I'm blind to it, so I don't want to know anything that I haven't ran into yet, so don't let me know. Like, I don't want to know any of the special zombies or what they do. We're going to discover that as we go along. Maybe to our own peril, but... To our own peril. Uh, no breacher zombie. I don't see any of them getting grouped up right now. The... This is... We're going to have the lowest zombie count that we're going to have for a long time in just two and a half days. We still have about a quadrum before we have a day with no zombies. Well, slowly, I think so. I think that's what I'm gonna have to try to do is um, is clear an area while we, it's really dangerous though, because yeah, you can do exclamation mods, but it's basically almost no mods aside from the zombie mod, but exclamation mods. Anyway, uh, we're gonna have to like get ground as, as we go, clear and make like a tunnel. But the downside is they spawn from the edge. And if like breacher zombie or explosive zombie spawns over there, they're just going to get through anyway. So we got to be really like micromanaging about getting to the edge. What's the likelihood of a red mountain in the patch? A hundred percent. There's where the steel ends up. Uh, well, it looks like two nodes of steel. But yeah, there's there's a red mountain in there. So. 
the number of zombies are going down because the threat level is going down. So the lower the threat, the lower the zombie count. Um, up to the 100% threat, which is 500 zombies. Yeah, well, that's another thing that we changed is we are now trying on a temperate forest because we just did not have enough time in the swamp. We literally didn't have enough time to clear even for a basic starter wall. So we were just dying before we could even get a wall up. So. Fathom, I think for the 23 months. Thank you, Fathom. 23 months. Almost two full calendar years. Dog of War mod. Hides planet details. You're really cool. Or Fog of War. Fog of War. Monstrous construction. Hey, if you build this for us, we'll make it so you don't get as much loving. Um... Losing his farm, but Swamp was losing is inevitable. Yeah, we just didn't have enough time. There's just we could have done it there if we just pushed the zombie timer out further in order to Hey, come at machinery! Yes! Um to find or excuse me, long enough to get the wall, you know? Compact machinery, nice. Not gonna be a ton, but What'd you guys just kill? I think the I think the squirrel just bit that one. So we might can get, I think that's what we need to get to actually. Man. It might be the most important thing to get to. I haven't seen any zombie animals. I don't think that's a thing. Should we try to get to microelectronics before we even get to our own gun research? Because, I mean, if we have gun research, but we don't have the ability to make the guns. It doesn't do us any good, right? Hmm. Maybe. But it's going to take a long time. Zombie thrombos would be crazy. <laughs> yeah. We're just going to have to take it slow and steady and be really cautious about... So for anyone that doesn't know, if 18 or more zombies gather in a group, they will have... Um, there's an event... Or they will come like this this mob that travels together and they can push over the top of walls so we got to be vigilant for any of them that are gathering up if we see that which is pretty obvious when it starts happening um right now it doesn't look like any of them are gathering yeah that's the thing too like are the better guns gonna be even louder because definitely the bolt action was luring more zombies they can, yeah, they can climb over walls if they are in big enough groups. Yeah, I think the bows are actually doing really, really good. Planet killer end. If we don't manage to get off the planet, then yeah, the planet will be destroyed with us on it. <laughs> Man, I'm actually... I am thinking about just... The, there's one big problem, though. Not worry about the rice spoiling. No. Not really. Um, rice lasts 40 days without without refrigeration, so it'll be fine. Um, and then we'll trade excess, hopefully. One downside is if we have a siege, like right now, if a siege shows up right here, we have to go fight it with great bows out in the open. So that's the only, it's one of the really scary parts about not having our own gun production. Hmm. Zombie Thumper, a stamper to attract zombies, use uses fuel and does damage to the environment per hit. Well. Wow. Fresh mortars, how are we gonna get how are we gonna get barrels though, right? <laughs> so we can't really leave the map to go trade because there's always too many zombies. I wonder if there's any other things in here that I don't know about from this mod. There's the chainsaw. Have to send groups out to cold zombies with that? Yeah, probably. Attract sandworms. So. 
Yeah, I actually think we should go to microelectronics, even though it's going to take forever. We also need to knock out batteries because we're going to be using um, we're not going to be using geothermal for a really long time. Ugh, there's so many things that we need, but you know what? Let's just finish the smithing. It's almost done. We'll go from there. Ametry, no, ametry is way down here. That would be really helpful too. Like Farskit would be so good. Wall, empty line, wall. I don't, yeah, I don't know how that works or how the double wall works. Yeah. We actually never got a double wall up uh, in the previous attempts. So I don't know if they can just push over double walls or if there's a limit how many walls they, they can push over. I'm not sure. All stuff that we're gonna have to test. Uh, yeah, there's a toxic zombie down here. Yeah. Mass chaos skip. <laughs> Cargo pods. But yeah, still no breacher zombies nearby. So. Got a few components, though. Hmm. Over double, can they push over triple? Yeah, like, who knows? Mask out skip, stop them from grouping. Get over the wall, that's, yeah, maybe, maybe. Right now, it's about uh, just being vigilant, not letting any of those groups gather up. Clearing them out as they start to gather, waiting for a clear day, which we're going to have uh, in order to get new or more pawns or to get out and trade. I'm actually really thinking about using the festival soon. The thing is, if we have a joint... Oh, no. We have a joint event. And they spawn at any of those bottom edges that are just flooded right now. And we, we should not have accepted Ray. So I would attack the siege. But the siege might... The thing is, like, there's not enough there for it to take a siege out, right? So the zombies would attack if they're close enough. Yeah, I think we're going to try to get to microelectronics. I think that's our, uh, our best bet of getting, like, advancing at all. We're growing drugs, trade them. Playing with dynamic threat. Uh, yeah. The default, yeah. The only things that are changed is we have 500% uh, zombies. We ha have zombies don't heal. Zombies are always on the map. And what's the other thing that we changed? Uh, smart zombie is off. Get out there to burn the stuff. Yes, I know. I know, but there's nothing to do about it. Skulls, welcome in. Thank you for the 24 months. Almost two entire calendar years. Going full stack. Scratch, welcome in. Blitz. Fathom. Thank you again. Thank you, Skulls. 24 months. Yeah, I think uh, getting to microelectronics so we can actually have some semblance of trade. Be good. We're about to have as low threat as we're going to have in a long time. So we could do the festival, and if the joint event joins from any of these areas up here, we might actually be able to get them in. But if they spawn over here, they're, they're just they're dead. They're going to become zombies, but it might be a risk that we want to take. Because we have enough food coming in to support more people. So getting more research done. No reason you don't make them to trade like they are worth more than Psychic T. I don't want them around. So if someone is chemical interest or chemical fascination, I don't want them taking those because it lowers consciousness. Another steal. And I don't uh um I don't want anyone having a breakdown and taking them either. Whereas like T I'm hundred percent good with them taking T. Yeah, there is a zero threat. That's what I'm I'm thinking we should just wait. It's a twelve days out. I guess we should just wait. Yeah, I just don't Consciousness not only makes them worse at things, it, may, it means they're closer to dying, so it's just, you know. And Psych 8T is very good to sell as well, and it doesn't take really much skill at all to make it. 
very light also, you know, but I also get what my colonist taking it, so I might as well just just use that instead. Inspired surgery. Well, three inspired surgeries. Yeah, you only need a two cooking to make psychic tea, so it's a great thing to raise cooking off of, too. Uh, we have ran ourselves out of wood. No, we have not. Down there. I was used to it being stacked up there. Say, surely not. Yeah, the big, and the big thing is cautious. Now, I mean, either way. The cautious makes it so that uh, those other stats are worse as well. Okay, Empire is here. I might end up getting more special zombies made. You know, the uh, plasma sword's not too bad against zombies, huh? Just click when you say it out loud. That's bad. <laughs> The best way to train your kids to cook is to teach them how to cook drugs. Let them cook. Gifts. Oh, 21 plasteel. Nice. Uh, no breacher zombie yet. That person can't research, unfortunately, so that's why they're idle more. We're not a bit down there, actually. Not a bit. I think I'm not having uh, more... Uh oh <laughs> I have more guns, though, is uh, when a normal raid gets through. Like, having to kill them with these... These great bows. Pretty... Be pretty crazy. I'm thinking more and more. Zombie spitter attack? What the crap is that? A monster spits zombies to attack your base from the air? What? No, no, no. We have to get guns. <laughs> it's like a zombie mortar. All right, yeah, we gotta get the guns. All right, let's go, guys. Leave the babies at home. Oh, you're carrying a baby? Um, I don't know how this is gonna function or anything. I don't know how much HP this friggin' thing has. We're getting some hits on it, though. It is gathering a lot of zombies. Wait, is it gonna spit those ones? Rhetorical, by the way. Oh no, it has one of the healer. No, that's an electric one. Starvation, Isco. Come on. Why didn't you eat a meal before we left? You knew we were going out hunting zombies. Oh my god, it has so much HP still. What? Oh, there goes one. What about the children? like half health is code just friggin suck it up like 40 percent 
Where's that gun? Okay, it's dead. Get back home. What the crap? <laughs> Yes, they will carry an extra meal, yeah. I didn't want anyone to eat out there. Okay, so one zombie got spit in the base there. Okay. All right, well, um, we, we have to get to guns. <laughs> guns and we'll just have to clear like a mining spot or something there's a lot of steel in there which is good at least um we can keep split mining a little bit okay let's expand walls make sure we're getting deep into that mountain yeah i don't see any of the door opening zombies at least so you thought it had to get closer launched it. yeah it launched it's basically a zombie mortar that's crazy it's crazy all right oh no the runners and there's two special zombies there Oh, the runner's going after the Empire. Nice. It's going sad. Welcome in. Ooh, they took that runner. Hopefully without getting infected. Uh, that one's infected. Hopefully get off the map for the two infections. All right. Oh, no. There's the siege. I predicted this might happen and look exactly. They're in a, they're in a safe spot. Oh my god. We are just getting really unlucky. And entrance has special zombies in it right now. Christ. Wow, this might be game over. We might have to go to run four. That siege is in a really bad spot. What the crap? Do I have to have an EMP for that one or something? Oh no. We're assaulting the colony. The door's open. I don't know what to do about that one. Well, the siege got taken out at least. Yeah, I don't know what to do with that one. Can I lead it to these traps, maybe? Gotta get that shut. What? <laughs> oh, I hit a trap. Okay. I just blinked out of existence. All right. Good Lord, man. I thought we were going to lose in multiple ways right there. 
Jesus. Uh. Okay. All right, all right. And that one has... Ah, uh, we're going to get some barrels out of this, hopefully. And some components. It's super good if we can actually get it. Oh, no. A breacher zombie group is building up. So that's another thing we got to take care of really soon. And there might end up being runners from that. And there's one that's coming to unlock the doors. Jesus. <laughs> um, Here, everyone get inside to build up your, uh, your mood for a minute because we have to go out to fight. This is going to unlock the door. Okay, the, the bad guys are leaving at least. We're going to get... Uh, we're going to get mortar stuff. That's that's nice. R love this run so far. It's so intense. <laughs> Just always stuff. So that white zombie, for anyone that hasn't seen it, they can open doors. They can just open doors. And we also have a breacher zombie that's building up another group of zombies with him. Come push. All right, mood looks okay. We have to go start taking care of this. I have no idea what that means. Oh, it's dying. Where? There's a runner coming. A runner named Lard. <laughs> they are way, way faster than us. The runners. Okay, good. Nice hits. Man, those those great bows are just incredible for this run. Maybe I take his shield out so he can't bash the walls as fast. Oh my god, there's a there's one of the obscuring ones coming. Crap. Okay, good. Pop that. Okay, shield is gone, armor's gone. So that one with the shield is a breacher zombie. Okay, he's down. All right, any others gathering up? There's another breacher zombie down south we gotta make our way to. Okay, that group is done though. Let's get back inside, get our mood back up, eat, and then we gotta loop around and get the, uh, the other ones. These bows are actually great. Uh, in it, we're gonna go ahead and unrestrict and get that second door back up. Did we kill the white zombie? Oh, there's some more people that are going to become runners. I don't think we killed the white one. Where did he go? Unless we just kill... They're really easy to kill. Crap is that? Oh, yes, playtime. <laughs> yeah. So there is a uh, breacher zombie gathering others. Screamer zombies with the crap. All right. Well, High life back. missing. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. There you go. Sounds good. Go to torment. Maybe the 18 months. We got, we got to get out there. Bad mood or not, we got to get out there. Let's go. I think I'm going to have to put another door on the other, other side at least. So we have the option to go out there and we're just going to have to try to keep an eye on two sides of the base. But we cannot let that breacher get through. There's a white zombie, like you guys were saying, a little bit to the west there. Looks like he's coming back. Welcome back. Your 
I'll hopefully get him on the way back home. Okay. There's some runners on the map now, too. You gotta be careful. You are in the right wall and area, so you still have defense. Yeah. That way we can we have another option to close off. Yeah. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. All right, we got the two breacher zombies, the white zombies down. We still need to go loot this. Let's, you know what? Let's have them eat if they need to. There we go. And let's go, uh, let's go loot that. Frog, you stay inside. All right. Uh, where did the runner go? It's up that way, so we might end up running into it during this. We need those components, and we need the barrels. Um, that normal revolver might be really good, too. Right, doors and not needed. Yeah, that's true, too. Yeah, mortar side is a little bit cleared out, so we just gotta... We might want to go ahead and take care of the runner while we can. While we're up here. Okay, the path back home looks clear. Okay, we need to escort them. Looks good though. All right, look at that. We got barrels, we got some components. Excellent. How many more days until uh, we have a reprieve? 10 days, 10 days. 10 days we do all of our festivals. And we mine components. High quality escort service. Seems like it might mean something else. I'm not sure. The most important commandment you've learned about fighting zombies. Let's ask Sky God. Commandment 2462. I need to stop playing with corpses. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting really lucky on those random quotes. Wow. That's perfect. <laughs> Sky God just says, stop playing with corpses. That's very good advice, Sky God. Very good advice. Thank you for that. I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> and those great bows are uh, much better in this run than I had expected. Like, we're choosing to use great bows over guns right now because of the noise. Like, even the zombies that it's hitting a lot of times aren't coming after us. Those great bows are pretty great. Pretty great, those great bows. I think I want to make sure that we have for when these kids are uh, are growing. I'm gonna go ahead and set up the um, the blackboards and stuff. For anyone that doesn't know, you can attach up to three blackboards to a desk. Uh, that is the limit, though. Yeah, so that it doesn't doesn't do anything. Um. Yeah. Just so we, uh, we're sure that we have the material for that when the kids do grow up. I don't want to, don't want to miss out on that. Which one of the rim vods try to type in chat? <laughs> Revenge of the corpses all the time. You destroyed or desecrated them in the previous runs. Pretty much. Someone was saying all these zombies are just people I sacrificed in previous runs. Yeah, we got to get the research done. So we're just now getting smithing. But I do think that those components are going to get us, um, to bolt action. Which that many bolt action should still be good. And we need guns against raiders, right? So the bows are great against the zombies, but we need something to fight raiders with. So work on that. It'd be great if we find some more components in there. Solar flare, that's fine. Oh man, I just had a bad thought. What if we have an off map problem causer? How close to assault rifles? Uh, four years out. I don't know. We have an off map problem caused there. We're just... I don't know that we can do anything about it. We might just literally have to live with it. Like, off map EMI would put us on tribal tech forever, pretty much. Unless there's a zero threat day that we can go out and take care of it. 
Like high psychic droner off map. Ugh. We don't have fluid ideology. Yeah. It might actually be beneficial for us to try to get a trade ship that has um, psychically deaf for that kind of stuff. Uh, no, the zombies, you can't really clean it. Like you can kill it, but you can't clean it fast enough. It's based on the threat level. When it's 100% threat on here, we will have 500 zombies. And as soon as you kill them, more will wander in to get to that 500 number. But we're actually going to have like an entire day of respite. They draw the line, get back into the map. It's going to be a problem. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Did they change that? Did they change that? You used to get pirate off map problem causers without uh without them being quest related, but we would maybe have to sacrifice a pawn to get it. Like like you said, escort them out and then to make it back. Great. If not, they might. Well, we're tribal too, so with tribal they could actually feed themselves by foraging. So we could probably do it. We would have to have someone parked over the tile, not coming in until we have a low zombie day and then they could come in. So I think we could maybe finesse it. It would suck. That person had to be out in the world map for a really long time, but we might could do it. Yeah, but you don't know where they're gonna come in on the map, unfortunately. Yeah. There's, no, there's no way to do it 100%. All right, any other uh, zombie special groups going? No, we're good. Good for right now. Mainly, we just need to get that research done. Get the research done. We are overproducing rice. Um, we could make fine meals for a little while just to try to get more inspirations going. We're pretty happy already. Other option. Well, we want to trade, right? Next time there's a visitor group here, we might just gift them some rice. Animal disease flu. Uh, I guess whatever, I guess. Jump packs and go juice. Yeah, that would be, that would work. <laughs> hey, we're done with smithing. All right, on to machining and then gunsmithing. You know what? We're going to have to get batteries either way. Let's go ahead and knock out batteries. Then we can get this changed over to a... Uh, powered stove, and we get these switched over to actual lights. Those to build transport launcher. Yeah, we'd have to. Yeah, it would, it would have to be multiple people. We'll see though. Our skipper shuttle will be amazing in this run. Welcome, Rabbit. Eighteen months. Welcome thank you, Rabbit. Happy to support the channel. Thank you for the support. Appreciate Starfield. Thank you for the twenty-two months. Ink boy, thirty-three. How many months until you get to 12? <laughs> uh, thank you, Ink Boy. Torment, Ink Boy, Starfield, Rabbit. Thank you guys again. Uh, but that's one thing I really like about the these runs so far with this zombie mod is that we're having to try to think completely outside the box differently than you would normally play in order to get basic stuff done. Like normally, when things were calmed down, I would just come out here and mine this, right? This is right near the edge. So even if we clear this, we could literally have an explosive zombie enter the map while we're trying to mine this. Not only that, the person that's mining it is going to be walking back in this direction. So we're going to have to guard the whole path of him going there. Like, a lot of things. A lot of things. Uh, let's just do this, actually. I meant to do that with this side after we're done with it. But we'll just do it on this one for now. But Lady of the Hall, it'll be listing all your bow. 10 acres. Ugh, screw that. Riding lawnmower at least, right? <laughs> Obviously, I guess. I guess. Well, the cool thing about the mod too is you can uh, you can edit a lot of the options to suit a different play style as well. <laughs> Plenty of children to investigate the bites. Look on one of your pawns. Um, this one? That's a brain. That's a double tap. So that means that they will destroy, they'll, they'll destroy the head after they down a zombie to make sure it doesn't come back to life. 
That's a brain. Cargo pods. <laughs> Drop 70 blood. Okay. Yeah, this battery thing is going to help out a lot. Um, So we're going to need... Wind turbine. Let's go ahead and get that situated. Right over here in this rocky. Uh, well, it doesn't really matter. I have to move the rocks if we do that. That's okay. Not really cause any problems. Zombie wall? They can be. 18 or more zombies is a wall. 18 or more zombies and they can push themselves over your walls. Alright, so get to bold action. So I think our our order of research here is going to be get to bold action and then get to microelectronics so that we can get trade ships. They fast or slow zombies? There, yeah, there's lots of different kinds. There are slow zombies, which is just like normal standard. There are fast zombies, and there's also quite a few special zombies we ran into, including a mortar zombie we just saw for the first time, which was terrifying. Literally launching zombies into our base. But... All right, uh, so we'll need to get a battery to make sure that's running all the time. But we can go ahead and get our lamp situated. It'll help us not have to need as much work to keep this place lit and uh, not as much wood or anything. Yeah, we've seen like the juggernaut wins, the electric zombie. Um, there's a zombie that buffs other ones. Um, there's the toxic zombie, the exploding zombie, the minor zombie, the door opening zombie, the toxic sticky cloud zombie. I'm sure we haven't seen all of them yet. Yeah, and it does seem like the special zombies, a lot of them do gather groups before they decide to attack. Even that, um, even the breach, or not breacher, these ones really suck. I think we have to get EMP for them or something. Um, but anyway, the, the mortar zombie was e even gathering a group. What about the kids? Yeah, the two babies were left in the house by themselves. <laughs> Sorry, children. The crying baby. What's wrong with you, baby? It's too cold in here. Would you, would you like to sleep out with the zombies? Is that what I'm hearing? I think that's exactly what they said. I don't know. That's what I was wondering, too. Like, will the mortar zombie fire zombies regardless? Or does it actually pick up those zombies near it and throw them, you know? Because imagine if it picks up one of the exploding zombies. Yeah, I don't know what was up with that scream, either. Yeah. I can be a baby zombie? War merchant. I need to make a prison. Get a little prison sometime. Don't really want to be allied to these tribals. Take the dogs out. Hopefully you don't miss anything too crazy. <laughs> I hope you don't either, because I hope nothing else crazy happens for a little bit. That was kind of intense there. Kind of intense. Uh, don't see any more gathering. How many more days? We got seven and a half days until we have um the opening to do our festivals. Can you tame the zombies for cheap labor? I, I don't know. I don't know. You can capture them, but I don't... I think that's just so you can cure them with the... 
serum, but I, I don't know for sure. Oh man, we're going to get more runners. Most likely a lot of these are going to end up becoming runners. All right. Uh, halfway through getting the batteries. Let's go ahead and also make sure we can make the electric stove. Guess it doesn't really matter where. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Uh, we'll just put it down in this corner. Bot had a new in-game where you had to make a cure. Yeah, like a permanent cure or something. Yeah. yeah, I haven't seen any quests pop up about like a different ending or anything yet. I don't know. I mean, it could be a thing. I doubt it, but it could be. So. We're also going to need a machining table when that's done. And then we should have enough components for a few bolt action. Now, Randy is not asleep during that down period. So it is possible, like, we have something bad happen in that lull that the zombies can't help us with, you know? So we could have another siege during that... 0% uh, threat day. Which would be really, really bad. We still have to be careful about, like, going out and... Oh, God, there's a child special zombie that has the cloud. I don't want it grouping with any other ones. We might want to just go ahead and take care of it. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that, because uh, we leave it alone, even though it's not a threat right now, and it groups up with other ones. It screw us up later. I don't know if that killed it or not. Looks like she's probably dead. Is there a speedrun category in this game? Yeah, it's not too interesting, though. Cast it. Beavers and coal staffs. Major events. We expected fourth double mech cluster. Feels like a trap. <laughs> it's pig pin. <laughs> All right, so she is gone. Copy this over here. And we are still going to need Welcome to use this one temporarily. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. All right, another runner. And let's shrink the zone a little bit. Copy those settings over. Yeah. Or do they care about population? They don't care about population or wealth. Yeah, they're their own separate scaling. Yep. We should probably take care of that runner while it's by itself, too. Carrying a baby. All right. And yeah, the bows are so good. Like the zombies don't even come after you when they get hit by the by the arrows. Like the gray bows are actually gonna be useful the entire game, I think. Super good. Super good. We're for a single Yeah, I mean you could uh you could change the settings to be more lenient if you wanted. Must be the wind. <laughs> it's got like Ten arrows hanging out of him. Must be the wind. Uh, I'll be right back while those traders are here. 
Don't let anything happen. Masterwork and legendary great bows is not uh, not out of the question at all. Yeah, we might actually try to do that. Right back. allergies or something something <laughs> you guys killing zombies while I was gone it appears to still be quite a high number chair wins flawless victory Hey, that horse is winning. Uh, we also need to get some cloth down. It's gonna be really hard to uh, come by any uh, leather, really. So we'll get some cotton. Cotton always wins, like the house. That's right. The house always wins, and so does chair. Hey, how many more days? We got six and a half days, and we can uh, do those events. Hopefully, join events. team as a wrestler <laughs> left a lot picking zombie broke in was killed and turned into a vial nice find you guys took care of that you guys in chair all right any uh any special zombies gathering oh, those guys are killing on their way out don't see any groupings of them right now the interesting thing is these killing on their way out is probably gonna open up space for more zombies to come in that could be special ones zombies die leave a corpse i don't know if they leave a corpse yet and zombie corpses don't last very long at all i have to try to take a look i i only had one other day that we had zero percent threat and i didn't really think to look but yeah we'll we'll try to check keep getting uh inspired surgery uh this is the cold season i think Permanent summer, but this is, I think, is about as cold as it gets on this map. Almost too cold to grow this time of year. Uh, Sue, they were the six months. Thank you, Sue. Greetings from Brazil. Thank you. They were watching. So, batteries, batteries, uh, and then machining and gunsmithing. Yeah, they deteriorate really fast. Part of it is performance reason, I believe. Same reason they don't have stats, I guess the uh, mod creator said, you know? That way uh, the game isn't processing. I imagine it's processing 500 raiders at all times. That wouldn't be able to run. Your game would just be like a slideshow. Oh, God. Grand to suspend that. Hmm. Nah, just keep researching. We have the stone now to replace some of that wall. Sue is like, sir. Sue Clebs. I think last time I said celebs, like celebrities. I think that's what I did last month. All right, machining. Let's go ahead and uh, get a battery in here. Yeah, I guess this is fine for now. Mm. 
Quest of the Revered Artifact. Ash, the Relic. An ancient object, venerated by all survivors. If you could collect it, you could build a great reliquary to make survivors happy, attract wealthy pilgrims, and bring more people to Zombieland. <laughs> First, you need to find the Ash. Watch for opportunities to gather information about Ash. Do it. I don't know how we're ever going to go out and do it, but. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the lurk. Have a good shift. It is shift work. I know Ash is the person, yes, but we named this after them. So. I've seen Evil Dead a few times. You were startled. <laughs> Uh, probably also want to get a little bit more power production, man. We're going to have to secure that geothermal area sometime. We can do that like now so that it's there. It's going to be a long time before we have chop smart, chop as smart. I thought about just putting it as uh, the model of chainsaw that he used in the first or, yeah, if the, if the geothermal makes noise, that would suck. That would really suck. <sighs> working to get to guns right now. Still working to get to guns. Uh, we have 14 components left. We're going to need some of those for the machining table, and then we'll have a little bit left for a couple of... Uh, a couple of bull actions. Hmm. Their chainsaw hand, not that I've seen, no. Uh, I mean, we didn't look at, like, yeah, no more compact weaponry. No, there's no specialized limb. That would be kind of awesome. This one, it's hard. Yeah, it's been hard. This is the first run. This is, uh, attempt three. Yeah, we, we died on the first two yesterday. This is m much further. The first one lasted about, about four days. The second one lasted about... 14 days. We are currently at 41 days. It depends. Yeah, it depends. I'm hoping it's enough, but we'll have to just turn off the machine table when we're not using it. To conserve. But yeah, it just depends on if the wind is at full strength and looking like it's not. Hmm. Raising some more horses for meat and leather would be nice too, but I don't want to get any higher wealth right now because if we get a raid that's able to push through the zombies, we're going to be really hurting. Uh, in it has level 7 crafting, so we could try to get a better great bow out of this. Let's go in here and put uh, just in it, and let's have him make that. Hopefully we get a good one. This mod now, since you've turned proving right now, it seems like additional defense from raiding. They just walk around. Um, where's the difficulty in the mod? Were you not just, we literally just about lost. Just like, I mean, maybe you just came in or something. Yeah, it was like a very hectic. I thought we were going to lose in multiple ways at the same time, just like 15 minutes ago. And one of the problems can be that the raids clear out that area and then still hit you. So the zombies don't take care of the raiders. So the raids themselves are a separate threat. But they're not always going to take care of the raiders. Like if we had a siege set up and they actually got the siege set up and we got lucky that some zombies spawned around and the siege fought them. But I mean, yeah, they can, they can be big enough. Oh, nothing to stitch you in the noise. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Uh, yeah, I decided not to take the chain shotgun yet. Let me start attack animals. You can you can change it to whether they attack wild animals or not. I turned it off because we were just having constant battle music. Because the zombies were just constantly attacking every wild animal all the time. And it was just constant battle music. And uh, alerts the animals are getting angry nonstop, so. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the you can see that? Uh, we had multiple special zombies on the map, including a mortar zombie. 
So there was, there's a mortar spitter zombie that shoots zombies over your, the wall from the edge of the map. And we had a siege before we had our own mortars. And we had two breacher zombies and a key zombie on the map at the same time. Uh, we had an excellent bow. So a little bit better than what we had, but not, uh, not the masterwork I was hoping for. Uh, Rogers, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you, Rogers. Much appreciated. Combat. Yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of problems with the zombies just constantly going in con combat with wild animals. It just wasn't, and it didn't really do anything for the run, right? So constant battle music, slowdowns from the battle, and uh, alerts of animals revenge nonstop. So insulting three on Mayo. Wait, what? Yeah, I don't want him to get killed. You know, my mood's pretty good. I'm just gonna let it let it happen. We have enough tea. We could move it to every other day. That'll, that'll help a lot. Oh, I didn't do this. I usually put it on uh on just the the no drug or social drug. I just add that on there. That'll help. That'll help. A bit, yeah, take for these babies to grow up. Uh, basically, once they become children, every quadrum is a year. So every 15 days will be a year. So it doesn't take a crap load of time. Off the torches, yeah, probably. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly. I think I'm gonna leave them up though, just in case. Why you know playing bald or gay? Um, because it would be really bad for the stream. This is my, my job, you know. I would get no new viewers with Baldur's Gate at all. I would be so far down the list that no new person would find the stream through Baldur's Gay. I know it was a typo, but... Uh, Timeless. Think of the six months. Thank you, Timeless. But yeah. I would like to play it. If I did play it, it would have to be a split game. If that was a typo. I, I think it was. I, benefit of the doubt. Your non-existent free time. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't have any any time to play it, unfortunately. Well, yeah, less viewers for many reasons. No new viewers. Uh, people just not want to watch it. People that don't want spoilers. Yeah. I do plan on playing it at some point. It's just would be a good thing to do right now. If I did do it, it would have to be split stream. Uh, but. Unmodding constantly. <laughs> All right, how much longer? Four or three and a half days. Three and a half days. We got a lot to do when that happens. We got to do the festivals and we got to get the, um, the fire break up. Uh, hopefully the rain comes. If not, I guess we'll just rebuild this. A generous bestowal. Sav. Sav, thank you for the 200 bits. Thank you, Sav. I'm doing okay. Thank you. Well, I was instantly catch fire or something. Yeah, that would be interesting. Yeah. Wouldn't, it wouldn't have surprised me. She's asking you to lend two colonists for five days. Can't do it. Floofy G, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you, Floofy. Much appreciated. That graph that you opened 30 seconds ago, that's the zombie threat level in the forecast. A part of the mod. So right now we're at 100% zombie threat. We gotta get these walls changed over. That's gonna be one of the things we 
we probably will work on during the uh the downtime but as you can see like in three and a half days the threat's gonna fall and then it's gonna go straight back up to 500 percent a day later or seven more days or something Christ. Um I might just go have to go ahead and work on it. Something we want to do anyway, right? It's gonna be a really dangerous transition here though. Dangerous transition. Where's the friggin' rain? <laughs> Joe, the moderator, too. Probably. Right. Where's the auto rain? God's sake, Randy. This could be really, really deadly. What? Malnutrition. Oh, I didn't see the alert. Well, that sucks. I don't know. I don't know exactly how that happened. Man, this is really, really dangerous. You two back in the Architects playthrough don't get to catch you very often. Most of the YouTube stuff. Thank you, thank you, Luffy. I appreciate it. Oh. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> well, the cat was no longer zoned where the stove was. Had him zoned where the meals were for, uh, for nuzzles. No, no more nuzzles. Oh my God. How are we going to do this? Where is the auto ring there? Oh, yep. There. Finally. Jesus. All right. No, another zombie spitter. What? Oh, God. Go now. Mayo, grab a bow. Crap. Uh, it's already gathered so many this time. No other special zombies up there, I guess. Major break on ARAM. ARAM, come on, man. We are very, very busy. <laughs> Insulted, recreation unfulfilled. Back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Oh God, the baby. <laughs> Uh. Man, that thing has like no damage on it. And there's a breacher zombie with another special zombie with it. Oh my god, this is gonna be guys get the friggin' spitter, we're gonna lose. Yeah, we just can't friggin' hit the thing. Yeah, 
It's gathering so many meat shields. Mayo, can you make it back home? He ran close to a breakdown. I don't know what to do about it. No! Jackal, no! <laughs> I didn't keep an eye on him. Are you seeing the baby? No. <laughs> there goes uh, one of the launches. Well, I don't, I don't know. We're just going to have to fight the zombies that is launching the walls for now. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm not sure how we're going to deal with this. And the friggin' walls open on the side, like... Yeah, <laughs> That's what I was just thinking, like, someone was just saying, where's the difficulty? I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, no, it launched a special zombie inside the friggin' house. I don't know how we're going to deal with this, all of this. Mayo is not infected at the moment. How do I kill this thing? It's... I don't know. Waves 20. Is that how many shots it has, maybe? Because we might can just take care of the... We might can just survive the shots, if that's the case. Let's see. No, that's not it. Yes, I know you can create the zombie cure. Yes, I... Serum... Yeah, no. It's the least of our problems at the moment. What bad timing on everything. He's eating the baby again. <laughs> yeah, that might be the end of attempt three. It ate the baby. Wow. That person is going to be unhappy for a very, very long time. If we leave, Mayo and that baby is are dead, 100%. We just don't have anything to take care of it. It's not surrounded as much anymore. We can make it there, but if we leave here, like I said, those ones are dead. Flee the map. Ha how? <laughs> There's no way to leave. We have to go after it. Uh, 
Um, you know, I can't believe one of the babies got eaten. They're still eating the corpse of that one baby. How long till zero threat? Uh, two and a half days. And people are starving. Isco go eats. You guys go eat too, really quick. All right. That thing is so accurate compared to a mortar. Okay, Mayo is up at least. Major break, yeah, go eats. Go eats. I want to use tended to. We might end up having to just leave the babies here, sacrifice them, or else the run is over. That's so crazy. I already lost one of them anyway. Mayo's probably dead. Frog, it doesn't matter if you're going to be unhappy about it. You got to pick up a weapon. All right, tins. Uh, need to eat or what? Yeah, we just have to go even if we lose the run. Because we're going to lose it, just staying here anyway. All right, did we get the... Okay, the bleed is patched. Here we go. Sorry, babies. And there's a breacher zombie almost here. Christ. Oh no, the gun! <laughs> Well, I think we're about to be on to run four, guys. I didn't think about the gun. Sad times. Mayo's done. The gun made them all aggro faster. And this guy, we don't have enough firepower to finish him off. Infection, okay. All right, we're gonna go try to kill this anyway. I think uh, this is over, but it sucks to lose all this research that we've gotten. Man, what do I? Should don't worry. You may think this is going terrible. It really isn't. Things will get much worse in the future runs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, going in blind, you just don't know that these things are even a possibility, right? Just don't even know that it's a possibility until it's too late. Yeah, those spitters are really, really brutal.
So yeah, it gathers meat shields to itself. Well, it's dead. Insulting spree. Uh, oh. Better come insult closer. Fire starting spree. <laughs> oh, man. All right, well. Frog's dead. There's two breachers right there, too. And there's a breacher in the house. And more breakdowns. Special zombies are getting in. And oh, man. That one was rough. GG. She may be still sleeping though. I mean, they're crying now. I can't believe it spit a zombie into the living room and it ate immediately. Ate, it ignored everyone just to eat a baby. Ah, oh, so tender and mild. Wait, that's not what the Christmas song means. All right, well, run three is done. Man, right as we were about, look at this. We were almost at gunsmithing. Uh, well, that was brutal. I guess uh, I'll use the restroom. We'll start the next run. We know we have learned a whole lot of stuff, though. A whole lot. Great bows are insanely good. And we know what a bunch of the special zombies do. I got some more ideas, too. Um, I'm not going to play. Man in Black just die. Not everyone's down, so Man in Black won't spawn until everyone's dead. Or downed. Uh, I'm not going to switch tiles, no. Does that mean that would just be... I would just be cheesing it over and over, right? Even if we did clear a spot and go settle another tile, it seems like it'd be just cheesing it. All right. Um... So we need to switch over to stone sooner. We need to prepare for those lulls better so we can get more pawns. And we got to have the great bows ready for the spitters right away. Octoon, do you think Octoon not having it screwed this one up at all? I might just uh, get that off, off stream. I don't think I, I don't think it mattered in this one too much, but it is really funny. Someone comes in while there's like a downtime. Like, where's the difficulty in this? I don't mean anything against you, by the way, if you're still here, but it's just funny. Easier to get serums and double taps. Yeah. Charlie, think of the 19 months. Thank you, Charlie. Where's the difficulty? 15 minutes later, we're game over. <laughs> Chicken baby, the final survivor. Maybe. Maybe. All right. GG. Way to burn them early. We There's no way to unless we start as crash landed. I'm going to do tribal once more, though. I'm going to do another tribal. Is spitter healing? I think it's dying. It's in shock due to pain. Whoa, you can actually select these ones. Yeah, it's dying. Interesting. I'm going to do tribal again, especially because of how good great bows are and how very dangerous it is to use guns in fact we might have been able to pull this back together with like three people had i not forgotten that we had a gun equipped and it pulled so many why was the baby in the front line because with no pause i was i was drafting everyone and trying to get to the spitter with zombies being dropped in here and she was holding the baby when i drafted her so she just still had it so it wasn't like any kind of tactical thing. It was just a mistake 
brought on by no pause. All right, let's go again. I'd f learn how to fight zombies early. The baby might be bringing the man in black, maybe. Baby shields, clearly. Uh, let me use the restroom, and then we will uh, we'll start up on the next next one. Welcome back. Your steadfast ambassador to say hello. Appreciate. He's driving right now. Hear you, but not see you. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you, brains and brains partner. Uh, we just lost our third attempt. It was going super well, but since I'm playing blindly, I had no idea that spitters were a thing. And uh, yeah, <laughs> the spitter dropped zombies into our uh, crib area, and the zombies immediately started eating babies. So, all right, uh, Sparkle Spaz, you for the seven months. Thank you, Sparkle. I'm gonna use the restroom and we'll start up on uh, on attempt four. Be right back. 